Namaskar, Adab and welcome. I'm Aditya and you're watching The Indian Atheist. In mathematics, the Newton-Raphson method is a very well-known method of solving equations. Now, there's a standard version of this method as proposed independently by Newton and Raphson. And then there are modified versions that, that build up on and somehow improve or seek to improve the basic version. Many in the field call the standard version as the naive Newton-Raphson method. The word naive being used in the sense of basic or standard or fundamental, which is precisely the sense I want to use it in this video. By naive atheism, I mean basic, standard, fundamental atheism, sort of like the, like the first principles definition of atheism. But first, it's helpful to consider what most believers think atheism is. Because theism entails the belief that there is a God, they take atheism to be a belief that there is no God. This is not the case at all. Atheism does not mean believing that God does not exist. To be more precise, atheism does not mean knowing that God does not exist. This is very important and it's not a very subtle point either. In fact, it's a very rudimentary and an almost axiomatic point. Anyone who has read even the most basic literature on religious philosophies should know this. And that is why we can excuse Mr. Sadhguru, who said this. See, you're putting atheists and agnostics and skeptics together. It's a wrong classification. Atheists and thieves are together. They're one kind. Because they both have certainty. Both, both believe something that they do not know. Both are not sincere enough to admit that they do not know. So what is this naive definition of atheism? Well, it's the following. Sadhguru, listen. Naive atheism is the rejection of the God hypothesis. We simply reject the hypothesis that there is a God. This is not the same as asserting that there is no God. That would be the negation of the God hypothesis. Atheism is not a negation, it is but a rejection of the God hypothesis. And I must add, an atheist rejects any and all forms of God, be it personal or impersonal, real or metaphorical, imminent or transcendent, material or spiritual, anthropomorphic or robotic, pure energy type or quantum consciousness type, you name it, we reject it. Now, as I said, the difference between the negation and the rejection of the God hypothesis is a very important one and it needs to be understood well. First of all, the difference has nothing to do with certainty or uncertainty. It has nothing to do with assigning probabilities or other statistical measures to the existence of God. It has nothing to do with agnostic atheism or as Richard Dawkins puts it, 99.999% agnosticism. People keep coming up with all sorts of unnecessary distinctions, you know, implicit and explicit atheism, soft and hard atheism, weak and strong atheism, uh, pragmatic and idealistic atheism, positive and negative atheism, all that's quite silly if you ask me. There is but one type of atheism and the difference between the negation and the rejection of the God hypothesis has to do with one thing and one thing only, and that is burden of proof. For example, suppose I say, I'm God. You'd say, no, you're not. And I'd say, am too. And you'd say, nope, you're not. If at this point, suppose I say, prove that I'm not God. Wouldn't you want to slap me and tell me that it's up to me to prove what I assert? The burden of proof is always on the one who makes a positive or a negative claim, never on the one who rejects said claim. If I were to make the claim that God does not exist, it would then be incumbent upon me to, to tender the evidence contradicting the existence of God. But I'm not making any claim, am I? I'm merely rejecting the religious person's claim on the basis of insufficient evidence because the evidence they have on offer for such an extraordinary claim is utterly lacking in rigor. So, to sum up the naive atheist position, religions assert a positive claim for the existence of God. We ask them to prove it, and they come up with some half-baked and often circular proof that does not even meet the minimum criteria 
of logic, let alone prove the existence of anything, and so we reject it. We don't say that God does not exist. We don't have to say anything. It's none of our goddamn business. We only submit that we are not satisfied with the evidence presented, that there's a reasonable doubt, beyond a reasonable doubt really, to, to believe that this supernatural or whatever entity postulated by the believer may not in fact exist. Bring a better proof, you're all ears. That's all there is to naive atheism. That's my definition. End of story. Now there's definition and then there is meaning. But that's a slightly longer discussion. Oh, and by the way, we are on Twitter now. Come join us. I'd be very happy to see you there. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Dhanyavad. Shukriya.